How to folks, you're watching Deuce, and today's going to be an unusual video for my channel in which I'm going to show you how to fix the, the sync screen system on your Ford for free. This fix pretty much takes care of the majority of issues, and it's very, very simple. Let's get to it. Right now, everything is off, so let me go ahead and get it moving here, and you'll see the Ford emblem come up. And now it tries to detect, it tries to detect my phone. It, it does have my phone on there, the Samsung phone. But if we go to the radio, nothing works. I should be able to, to choose, you're kind of washed out there. I should be able to choose AM, FM, something there. But no, unidentified is what shows up. The screen is responsive, but there's no sound at all, no, no device detected, doesn't really matter, because it won't pick up anything. No matter what I do, it will not pick up anything at all. I can't even turn it off. I can't turn it on or off or anything. So, how do you fix this? Well, let me show you. Step one, pop the hood. Step two, I guess, is to raise the hood. <laughs> Very simple here on uh, the Deuce channel. And now, all we're gonna do is a simple battery pull. Remember back in the day when you had replaceable batteries in your phone? Well, we're just gonna do a battery pull. Remember back in the day, if you needed to really fix something, your phone was completely locked up, you take out the battery, you counted to 10, you put the battery back in, and you're pretty much good to go. We're gonna do the same thing with the Fiesta. Let's get to it. Do I not have a 10 millimeter on here? I've lost my 10 millimeter. <laughs> I thought I was so organized. Alrighty, I'm just going to take out, I'm going to unhook the battery. And now we're just going to sit here and wait. We've had some time on here, so let's go ahead and hook that battery back up there. Nice and snug. Don't over tighten, you'll break something. And now let's go back inside the car. And now we have the sync system setting up. The car is not that happy because it has it has to go through everything. There we go, that's what I'm looking for right there. Performing scheduled maintenance. That's what you gotta do right there. You gotta make it perform a scheduled maintenance service on itself, which for some reason it does not want to readily do. You can't force it to do this without doing a battery pull. Now let's see what it can do. See if we can turn it on. Oh, I hear something. All right, we have sound. We have everything. It's going to go through a whole rigmarole. Okay, so the radio is back. Everything is working as it should. I'll still have to reconnect my phone and get all that set up for it. But yeah, everything is back in working order. I hope this helps anyone out there who has struggled with the Ford Entertainment Sync system. It's a very simple fix, very quick fix to do, and it is free, which is awesome. It took me longer to set up the camera and lights than it did to actually do the job. So that's fantastic. Very easy and very simple. And I hope this helps anyone out there who has struggled with the Sync system with Ford. I do like the setup, but when it goes off, then you are the whole radio and information system is useless. Well, guys, every day, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a like and go subscribe. A lot more is on the way. If you have any comments, questions, or a show ideas, leave that in the comment box of the video. I try to get to as many of those as possible. And if you want to stay on Deuce and Guns channel, go and click on one of these two videos right over here. I'm kind of restricted in my car here, but <laughs> right over here should be some videos for you to click on. As always, you guys have a great day. See ya.